That belongs in a museum. Any more freedom on your 10 mana turn to fit this damage in. You do if you want to go for the lethal push here. You have to ration this out and actually commit damage now, potentially losing a lot of damage, getting sunk into a Reno yeah. if it's in hand from and, Stan Udachi. <laughs> and Samurai's House just told Stan exactly what he's got in his hands. Yes. Because there is no way, if you are planning for the late game, that that trade would not go into the Emperor at that point. Mm -hmm. uh, it's too much loss of value as a second tick on the Emperor is absolutely huge. Combined with the fact that the Swashburger can, can just be pinged off. Like, it's not like, oh, well, he'll trade the Emperor into it for me. It's like, no, he won't. It'll just die and the Emperor will live again. So it's all on Stan now to decide how he's going to try and survive what he is expecting to be probably a large amount of burst damage. And this might have to be a courier turn. See if you can pull anything too crazy there. Arcane oh. Intellect is two for the shots at Ice Block, though. He has 14 cards left. 14 cards left, two shots to hit it. That gives him a one in seven. He's courier. saying the courier gives him more outs. There are other things that aren't wow, ice block that could have okay. got him there. But he finds the block anyway. That is huge. There were cards, you know, like heal cards as yes, well exactly. that he could draw. So right. that's why he went for the courier. There's multiple cards from the three classes that would keep him up. Ice block just being the exact one he was going to try and dig for anyway. And now Samuel Zhao has to think about the, you know, two ice blocks available for Stan. We talk a lot about this deck being played like Freeze Mage, oh boy. and he is just going to play two ice blocks instead. This is brilliant too from Stan Udachi because he just has a clean lethal setup as well now the next turn. Just not even interested in protecting this block. He had a one mana Frostbolt in hand that he could have used to try and protect the block, take some of this damage off the board. He could have traded with his minions to do the same thing. He said, no, Ice Block is up. I just have potentially lethal damage if you don't trade into my board next turn. Even then, I still have more outs from my deck. Arcane Intellect can hit Reno or Ice Block again. He feels now suddenly that one Cabal Courier drop has put him in full control of this game. Absolutely crazy. Such a powerful card, and obviously, you know, the Ice Block being probably, well, yeah, the, the best outcome uh, from that card to guarantee he just will not die. And it's kind of burst damage now. Stan finally, you know, the, the slower cards he started the game with finally paying off for him here. Now Samuel is actually just trading, just trading away. He's just like, okay, I need everything gone here because now I'm afraid when you can just pull an Ice Block out of actually nowhere at this point. It's just game. Antonidas in hand just ends this over the time the ice block is protected. Okay. Yep. All right. That makes life simpler as well. Six from the Fireball, three from the Frostbolt is nine. Thirteen from the Ice Lance, sixteen from the Forgotten Torch, and a good old Pingaroo. Yeah, ping in the face to finish. What a game. Insane. All Absolutely off the insane. back of the courier choice. Could have gone for the Arcane Intellect to try and dig for the ice block. Courier though, Stan identifying that the Courier actually just gives me more potential options. You effectively kind of draw three cards and get to pick one. And from multiple classes, such as Priest, for example, there are heal cards.